Greetings accounting students. So this is the second part of a two part video that I'm making on source documents. The first one that you can find by my channel provides a broad theoretical overview. This clip I'm going through some practical examples. So just acknowledging my source, the Unit 1 2 VCE textbook 2024 edition from Macmillan Publishers. So let's unpack some of the key details from this first exercise in the chapter four activities. Let's go down the bottom here where it says credit terms, 30 days. So we know that this is a credit transaction. The source document used to evidence a credit transaction is indeed an invoice. Strictly 30 days means from the invoice date, 1st of April 23, the customer has 30 days to pay or else. Next thing we want to make note is who is selling, who is buying. So if we go to the top here, Victor Mowers, the, the entity I identified at the top of the document is indeed the vendor, the seller. And so therefore they're selling to Mel. So Mel is the customer, the buyer. So because this question is asking um, us to take Mel's perspective, Mel is making a credit purchase, that's the type of transaction, of inventory. As a result of that, that creates an account called Accounts Payable, because by the end of April, uh, after that strictly 30-day period, Mel will have to pay uh, Victor for that $110 amount. This represents an obligation to an external entity to provide an economic resource in the form of cash. On the balance sheet, accounts payable are classified as a current liability. Now, because Mel is the customer, Mel will get the original copy of the invoice and Victor will keep a copy or a duplicate. Okay, let's look at this second transaction. And this one's a bit different from the earlier one, which basically was a sale of inventory goods. This one is providing a service, the maintenance of ground. So keep that in mind in terms of some of the terminology we'll use. Again, go down the bottom here, it says terms 14 days. So this is a credit transaction. Buy now, as in get the work done in terms of the maintenance. And then 14 days later or earlier, that's when the funds are transferred. So again, the invoice is the source document that we have in front of us. Mal is listed at the top, Mal's mowing. So they are the service provider. The question is asking us to take it from Mal's point of view. So this creates accounts receivable because in two weeks time, Barry and Morello will settle up and that account of $220. So from Mel's point of view in the balance sheet, this creates a current asset because that $220 equals a economic resource that will flow into the business in the form of cash when Barry and Morello pay up. This transaction is a little bit different. So we've got ABC computers here, they're the seller. We've got complete computer solutions here, they're the customer, the buyer. And we've been instructed to credit them from ABC's perspective, $55 because the wrong stock was provided. So this document represents a credit note. It is the reverse of a credit sale or credit purchase, depending on if we take the perspective of ABC or complete computer solutions. It occurs when uh, inventory or service provided that is wrong or damaged, uh, and there's some type of corrective action required. It's not the same as a refund, because what the credit uh, note represents is the next time the customer pays they can attach this and that will mean that they pay $55 less. Because this question is asking us to take their perspective of complete um, computer solutions, what's happened here is they've, um, there's been a, a purchase of inventory. And so therefore this actually reduces the amount owing 
for the accounts payable. So again, complete solutions prior to this has bought some inventory. They've returned um, some of it, $55, $55 worth when we attach the GST. So therefore that will reduce the amount owing on the accounts payable. And so therefore there'll be less of um, a sacrifice of an economic resource when we settle up. All right, next exercise. This one lists a bunch of transactions for the month. Statement of account. Now, we don't actually need to action anything because all of these transactions, so invoice, 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 that would be a sale. We've got a credit note here for a sales return, and we've got a payment for a cash receipt. So they're settling an earlier debt. So all of those, the sales, the return, the receipt, they've already been recorded, so we don't want to double dip. But this document is still useful because we can cross-check the accuracy of the relevant special journals uh, impacted. And so therefore that will help um, support the verifiability QC because it helps us verify the accuracy of our records. Next one, we've received $77 for tutoring. So this is a cash receipt, an example of buy now, pay now. Achieve tutoring is the seller, the business, the fact that they have an ABN, I haven't mentioned that before, I don't think. Australian business number just means they're a registered um, business and they're legit. Kirkwood is the customer. They get the original receipt to provide evidence that they have indeed paid. So therefore, ACE tutoring would get the copy of the receipt to help them complete their cash receipts journal. Okay, second last one. So here we have an EFT transaction, an electronic funds transfer of $143. CBC has basically performed a cash sale. We identify this of um, whatever goods they're selling to the customer who taps on their card or their phone. So the advantage of um, businesses that provide EFT, well, it's good for um, the customer because they can go cashless. They don't have to carry around cash. And from CBC's perspective, they don't have to worry about the security of handling cash, storing it, etc. The disadvantage is there are some fees associated with going down the EFT, EFT pathway. Another example of an EFT, if we take the perspective of the West Side data, we're making a payment for insurance. If we were going with a check, we would give uh, Amy Insurance the original check so that they could cash that at the bank at their leisure. And then Westside would fill in a check, but that basically would help them process the accounting information in their cash payments journal.